What is up everybody, it's me again, and today we're going to, going to do goofs in Emily's new coaches. And I hope you enjoy this, and also, this is Series 7 Episode 1. And also, yeah, let's get a show on the road. Oh, hang on. Before I begin, there's been coronavirus that's been that had just happened over over in the in the world. So the news have been spreading quickly throughout the media. So you have to wash your hands all the time, actually. And, yeah, but let's just let's just begin this episode. It was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was taking Annie and Clarabelle back to the yards. Um, even though Michael Angela says Thomas is taking Annie and Clamber back to the yards, that's not really true because he's pulling two red branch line coaches. So that's the first goof. A new engine had arrived and he wanted to say hello. The engine was beautiful, with shiny paintwork and a gleaming brass dome. Thomas, me Emily. Hello. Hello to you. Oh, I think I've spotted another goof. Right over here. Thomas's base is not really on the model correctly. As I can tell because it's um, slid to the very left. So yeah, and there's even two light sources in his eyes. Hello to you. You can see them in Emily's eyes too. Emily? Collect your gorgeous, please. You and your driver must learn the line. Thomas was impressed. <laughs> Great. Now Thomas's face is pushed down, and then it's, I think it's nearly about to come off, as I can tell, because it's not on the model right. And there's a small gap in his. Um, Left eye and his face mask, as you can see at the very bottom. Later, the only coaches Emily's driver could find were Annie and Clarabel. These aren't your sort of coaches, he said, but I suppose they'll do. Annie and Clarabel felt insulted. How dare he say we'll do, Clarabel whispered. Why is Emily taking Annie and Clarabel? I think I'm, I might count that as a goof. Or could I? I don't, I'm, I'm not really 100% sure if there's a goof or not. It just looks odd to me. Emily puffed carefully along the track. How dare he say we'll do? How dare he say we'll do? Grumbled the coaches. Why couldn't you just say Annie and Clarabelle, so that's a goof. Emily coming down the line, pulling Annie and Clarabelle. Why couldn't Annie, why couldn't you just say Annie and, said Annie and Clarabelle, not the coaches, as in different types of coaches, so I think that's a goof. And also, did I say anything right, right in the beginning of the scene? Annie and Clarabelle. Emily come. I think Emily comes from a dead end, so that's a goof. And there's even a quite a lot of light sources in her eyes. Hello, Thomas. Emily called. But Thomas was cross. Uh, Thomas's eyes like a tad bit wonky in this scene, and also he still didn't fix anything with his face, and also his line face is a tad bit crooked as well. So my coaches, he must have give them back. Emily didn't hear Thomas and she went on her way. Then Edward passed. And Percy. When Emily whistled hello, the engines didn't whistle back. Emily couldn't understand why they were so unfriendly. She was upset. Later, the fat controller spoke to Thomas. I want you to go to the docks to pick up new coaches. New coaches? But, sir... Um, and also... Um... Uh, they're still doing things anything in Thomas's face. It's still pushed to the left. It's 
Don't cook it, lamb, and yeah. Really useful engines don't argue, said the fat controller. Thomas didn't want you coaches. He wanted Annie and Clarabelle back. When Oliver saw Emily return to the yard, he was surprised. Those are Thomas's coaches. And also, Oliver's line took up his hand with one key, and then um, his lamp is, is a little bit crooked. So that's why he looked cross, exclaimed Emily. I'll go and apologise. Don't want you coaches. Don't want you coaches. Those will be Emily's them. coaches, so that's a good. Oh, no. Now, so this, I think I'm getting, getting really, this game really ridiculous. This is just gonna be like that throughout the episode. As long as the space is not on the model right. And also, his eyes look a tad bit wonky in this scene. <laughs> Later, Emily was still looking for Thomas when a signal man flanked her down. Oliver hasn't cleared his signal box, he told Emily's driver. Please go and see what's wrong. Emily could see that Oliver had broken down on the crossing. Then Emily heard Thomas's whistle. He could see Oliver, and he knew he could never stop in time. Oh, oh and also, there's, there's gaps in Oliver's eye to, eyes and his face masks. Yeah, you can clearly see them on both of his eyes, and also his, his face is not on the model right. Emily charged towards Oliver. And with a huge effort. Hang on. Um, so I was a fan, but it's, uh, it's just, just a little bit broken in this scene. And you might not see, but it's a tad bit broken. Pushed him across the tracks. Wait a minute, did I say anything? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Just in time. Hang on. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna not point that out. It's just getting ridiculous, and I already pointed out a load of times randomly. Later, the fat controller praised Emily. Well, John, <sighs> you were a very brave engine. That's why I just said a yawn. The bravest, chuffed Oliver. Uh, so Oliver's, Oliver's lamp looks a little bit crooked in this scene. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to present you with two new coaches. Thank you, sir, replied Emily. I'm sorry I took Annie and Clarabelle. And I'm sorry I was so cross, replied Thomas. Friends. Friends. <whistles> Emily loves her coaches and being part of the Fat Controller's Railway. So yeah, that's, that's, that's not really that many goofs in this episode. I think there's about um, 11 or 12 goofs in this episode. And if there's a goof that I didn't point out, please leave it in the comments below and let me know. Thanks for watching this goof video and goodbye.